everybody. We are all wide awake and bright eyed and bushy tailed for our yard sale today. Yay. And I have this very, very important responsibility that I have taken upon myself to make sure that I check gravity for everybody in the world every once in a while. Doing okay so far. <laughs> And I woke Kevin up at about 4 o'clock this morning doing a gravity check by falling out of bed. So now I'm really hurting. <laughs> hurt my shoulder, hurt my butt, and twisted my right leg because I landed with my right leg like underneath my butt. Luckily I didn't hit my head on my nightstand. Don't ask me how. But Kevin says I sleep too close to the edge of my bed. So when I'm facing the middle of my bed, yes, my butt is like right on the edge of the bed. And if I go to roll over, and if I roll this way, then yeah, I'm going to go on the floor. And I'm usually pretty careful and I make sure I roll over the other way. Well, this morning I guess I was just a little too tired and didn't pay much attention and I rolled that way and went boom. So, needless to say, my butt hurts too. But gravity is good for everybody today. Yay. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't getting up. I made too it. Too damn well. early. I know it's too damn early. Hey, cuss oh, cuss shower. Shower. Cus car, cus jar, cus jar. You both cussed. What's a bad word? It's probably all the money we're going to make today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. So, baby. Yes? Are you disappointed? Yep. Pretty disappointed. Yeah. Get up on a Saturday morning at 6 in the morning. And uh, it's been a big bust. Problem is, um, we live on a cul-de-sac on a cul-de-sac. and. Kind of like out, we're kind of out of the way, so we don't know. The last time we had a garage sale, it was like this as well. There's not a lot of traffic. Yeah, but we've had we made thirteen dollars so far. Yay! Don't spend it all in one place. Probably will. <laughs> Here comes some somebody else. Okay, I'm gonna go inside. Okay. Because you said you're gonna putter around. Yeah, I'll just clean up the garage. There's no reason for us all to be just sitting out here. Okay, good, because it's hot. I know. we are going to have to raise the garage door up so that uh, people can get in and out of it. It's not too low for me. I'm only 4'10 and 2 thirds. <laughs> 2 thirds. <laughs> I've never heard of a fraction of an inch referred to as 2 thirds. But that's that, okay. That's the doctor was very precise. And I see. I am four ten and two thirds. That's I nice. I shrunk from four eleven and three quarters. That's, I guess it's because of all that gravity check that you do. You're getting a little closer to uh, the center of gravity here. But we are all safe today. Yup. Gravity is working today. Apparently. So this is my garage sale. It's got a lot of stuff. But we expected at least a little more traffic than this. So far I've uh, made $13. Worth getting up at 6 in the morning. Yeah. I just got out of the shower. As you can tell, my hair is all wet. I was very hot and sweaty and itchy. I don't know if the cortisone shots made me itchy, but I've been itchy for the last few days really, really bad. And even taking my Benadryl wasn't making it go away. So I just took a really nice long shower and I put lotion all over. So hopefully the itches will go away. But Kevin's got to put my little... Uh, pad thingies back on my feet now because I had to take them off to shower and I washed my feet really good and 
And we just got finished watching The Conjuring, and it was Skylar's first time. <laughs> what do you think? It's one of the few movies that can scare me. You wanna watch it again? Sure. <laughs> so hey guys, I'm up and about today. I am going to cook some chicken Florentine. I add some extra chicken to these because they never give you enough chicken in the bags. And I am going to cook some butternut squash, too, because I love butternut squash and haven't had a chance to cook it yet, so I'm going to do that. You're watching Insidious 1? Hello, You're watching the first Insidious? Yes, dear. They're still watching the first Insidious, and I don't know, maybe we're going to watch Insidious 2 after that. So I've been kind of watching while I've been doing stuff on YouTube, but it's getting late. I don't have a time clock in the kitchen right now, but uh, it's getting late and close to dinner time, so I figured I'm going to throw something together for dinner. Okay, so I had to have Kevin come in and help me cut the squash because it was so sick. And that's the scary movie on surround sound. <laughs> Because it was so thick and it was so hard for me to cut. So Kevin came in and helped me cut it. Now I'm just cutting all the edges off of it. And then I'm going to cook it up in a little bit of oil. Uh, I defrosted some of the chicken to add to the bag of chicken florentine that I'm going to make. And then I'm cooking it all on this little two burner black and decker hot plate. Because I still don't have a stove. So, hopefully, we'll eat sometime before midnight. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so Kevin came in and washed up the dishes that were on the sink to be washed. And I put the dishes from the dishwasher away. And we got the chicken florentine cooking and we got the squash cooking. It's gonna take a while cooking it on that little two burner thingy. I got the fly sorter in my hand because we have so many flies in this house. I have no idea why. I hate flies though. So, oh, I'm gonna beat them all with my fly swatter. So, but anyway, everything's cooking. I'm gonna go sit down. We're gonna start Insidious 2. And I'll just keep getting up and checking food, or I'll have Kevin do it if my feet start to get too sore. But so far, I'm doing okay. So, talk to you guys a little later. So, here's the chicken florentine with extra chicken added, and there's the sauce that I need to add into it after it cooks for a while. And here's the butternut squash that's cooking. I'm just letting that side cook for a while then I gotta flip it and then I still got this whole stack here that still needs to be cooked. Would you like to make a confession? A confession? <laughs> Confess! About my Daryl pillow? My uh, Daryl Dixon pillow right uh, there that I am not in my bedroom I am out here in the living room yeah. watching TV and I have to bring my Daryl Dixon pillow out here with me. So would you house? like to make a confession about my Daryl Dixon pillow? Yes, my wife has a disturbing obsession with Daryl Dixon and Daryl Dixon pillow. <laughs> That's my confession. Skylar, do you want to tell me what he was going to do? Um, okay, so it started out, she yelled at me for something I didn't do. I thought Skylar put her head on my Daryl Dixon pillow, so I yelled at her. Yeah, she yelled at me. And then I put it over there, and then Kevin put it on the side where I was sitting, and he's like, come on, Simba. Come he on. tried to get Simba, poor little innocent Simba over there, <laughs> to lay on my Daryl Dixon pillow. <laughs> Simba can take care of himself. <laughs> yeah, but who's going to take care of you once I get mad? At me? What did I do? <laughs> Telling him to lay on my Daryl Dixon pillow. What, him what him are you nuts? I didn't tell him anything. Right what if Boomer laid on it? Boom! None of my cats are not not even Bootsy's allowed to lay on my Daryl Dixon pillow. <laughs> okay. Watch a movie. Don't 
don't touch rant, the pillow. Rant over. Look what I got in the mail today. Woohoo! I got my Ninja Crush Blending Chop. I'm going, not going to have to cut my own vegetables and onions and stuff. I'm going to be able to chop them all and we're going to be able to make all kinds of fruit smoothies. Everything. Now we just got to get my kitchen working. <laughs> so I can really cook. <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> or married an electrician. <laughs> but I wouldn't have been happy. Oh, yeah. How do you know? This one you helped. <laughs> I don't know how to do the... I don't know how to work the TV. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! My mom and my dad I feel better. Hey, everybody. Guess what time it is. Looks like bedtime to me. <laughs> it's time for our shout outs! Okay. Anyway, wait, I want to show them. This is where I sleep, like right on the edge of the bed, and if I'm facing this way, my butt kind of is like right there, so if I go to roll over, I kind of rolled over and went right onto the floor. Yeah, that's how I fell out of bed this morning. But gravity works. So, anyway, shout out for Just Joey. He needs more subs, guys. So, go by, check out his channel, and subscribe. He needs some more followers. Antonia. It says Antonia Rose. Antonia Rose, shout out to you. Thanks, Kat. Kevin is awesome. Whitney, you also said he's wonderful. I really do appreciate him. I don't know what I would do without him. But, Kat, he couldn't be a doctor. He's too honest. I don't trust doctors. They lie. And Judy W. said for me to tell Megan, Raquel, and Kevin hello. Hello. And Megan and Raquel also says hello back. And hang in there, Judy. I don't know if Judy's pregnant because she said something about she's using her somebody else's account or something. So, but... If it's not Judy, if it's somebody else that I'm talking to, hang in there. The pregnancy hormones will level out. Trust me. You'll be fine. I had no problems at all. And he's still pregnant. I love him. Okay. And now it is time for our... I started yesterday. I'm not asking you to start. I'm asking you to read that. Neighborhood community shout outs. A little more oomph. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love giving them a hard time. It's time for the neighborhood community shout outs. Yay. Caroline. Megan Goss. Uh, Karen Fry. McKenna's World. Lucy Bones. Madison Collier. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Uh, Clay Bad with usernames. Selena G. Love 487, also known as Brian. And I'm not going to forget Tom Show. That's right. Madeline Carl. Uh, Rex25059. 
ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Uh, Dana Besaw. Beauty Queen 12. And Marin Brenda Smith. You are all part of our community, each and every one of you. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up. And we'll see you all tomorrow.